Are you looking for a first magical generative AI project your customers will love? You're a wizard, Harry. Turn their dashboards into rich data conversations. Here's how you do it. So what do executives and business customers think about data dashboards created with products like Tableau? They hate them. Because they never answer real questions. Well, you can turn this frustration into an opportunity with large language models like GPT-4. This is an example PL dashboard from a fictional small company. You have many similar dashboards or reports in your company built with applications like Tableau or Power BI. So here's a question. Do you see anything unusual in the data? And if so, what are the reasons for it? It turns out these type of exploratory questions are what people want to know about data, but they're just not easy to answer without writing SQL code. And that's why most dashboards and reports are so underutilized. Now let's see what happens when we supplement the dashboard with generative AI. We added a simple link to this dashboard called Git Insight that launches an interactive application built with the GPT-4 large language model. This application allows anyone to investigate the data by asking simple questions. Let's start with data anomaly detection. We just type in the question, does anything look unusual in this report? Now these questions take about 30 seconds to answer, so I'll speed them up. The model looks through the data and correctly identifies an obvious problem. Both revenue and profitability declined in the second half of the year. We get even more data insight by reading the chat message log with the AI's analysis and the model even suggests additional exploratory questions. So let's dig a bit further and ask the model why revenue fell. This time, the model provides insights unavailable from the static dashboard. The competitive intelligence team has been tracking the sales and marketing activities of Nexatech, a key competitor. The model searched through the competitive database and flagged increased competition as a potential cause of our falling revenue. So let's ask the model to dig further and perform some additional analysis. Well, now we've got our answer. Nexatech went from zero marketing spend in Q1 and Q2 and then considerably outspent us in Q3 and Q4. We can scan the chat log to see the actual data and gleam additional insights. So what did we learn? We started with a static dashboard and used generative AI to detect anomalies and give a business customer the ability to discover the root cause of the anomalies. This is the holy grail of business intelligence applications we've been promised for decades. And it is now possible because GPT-4 can generate SQL code from natural language and perform basic reasoning and analysis. This is the future of IT and business intelligence. And in the coming years, every dashboard, report, and even application screens will be replaced with reasoning functions because customers will demand them. I call this capability Unified Natural Language Query, and it will be the killer app of business AI. But let's stop here and talk about the limitations and what you should build today. Now, honestly, you can't simply connect LLMs like GPT-4 to your databases and expect it to magically give customers answers to any questions. It just doesn't work. Your initial application must be constrained to a sweet spot between a few select data sources, the scope of business questions, and the capabilities of the large language models. And of course, this sweet spot will rapidly expand as Google, OpenAI, Anthropic, and Meta compete ferociously and release more and more powerful models. But back to today. How well does it work today? Well, here's a useful analogy. The model has capabilities of an intern who can perform basic SQL and reasoning tasks if given the right direction. This is the new intern, are you kidding me? So it isn't great at causal reasoning or answering broad questions that require domain knowledge and expertise. Instead, it is useful for helping a business customer perform rapid analysis without learning SQL or relying on support from a business intelligence team. So kick off your first project by asking your business customers a simple question. How would you task an intern who has simple SQL skills to help you work more efficiently? The answer will help you begin identifying the critical data sources and approaches for constraining your first release. Of course, this is just a starting point. 
You will need an approach to handling multiple tables, multiple databases, unstructured data, and of course, you will need an evaluation framework to prevent hallucinations by the large language models. I've covered all of these topics in episodes three to six of our AI strategy series, and they're all linked in the show notes below, along with the source code from this episode. You're watching this video because you, like me, are one of the elite people who are serious about building real solutions with LLMs and generative AI. So let's stay in touch so we can keep sharing notes. Feel free to ask questions or share your experiences in the comments below. Subscribe to this channel and sign up for our weekly newsletter so you don't miss a tip that could change your career. I hope it helps. Have a great day.